Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be building this custom sign for a friend of ours who bought a farm five years ago. Here I'm just displaying the sign in my backyard so you guys can see it. So let's get to it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Letters like A and D, the easiest option is to cut through it at a convenient place uh, and then take out the part you don't want and then glue it back together. What I'm doing here is marking up the parts of the letters that go together because when it comes to gluing you don't want to be messing around trying to figure out which part goes with which letter.
For the backboards, uh, we'll be cutting a groove on all the pine boards or rabbits. We're kind of making our own shiplap here, if you like. Uh, the reason is, if the boards expand or contract due to weather, there won't be a gap between the joints uh, that you can see through. For the arc of the lettering, I'm using a bow that I made from a thin piece of scrap wood and a piece of string. And I made the bow to match the arc that I was looking for and then just trace it out with a piece of pencil. I'm going to be using a 23 gauge pin nailer with one inch long pins. 
pins are there to just hold the ladders while the glue dries. It will leave a tiny mark on the ladders, which is fine. It is an outdoor sign after all, so all's good. I'll be using my carpenter's pencil for the spacing between the letters. It works quite well, gives me just the space that I want. I'm going to be using some leftover cedar boards uh, from a fence I had to frame the sign. It is weathered, but I think it's going to look good. I'm going to be using a spacer to give it a consistent reveal all the way around the frame.
last thing to do is apply some coats of spy urethane it's exterior grade and I apply three coats on this side Just displaying the sign here in my backyard came out quite nice. If this is the first time you're here, please subscribe, that'd be great. Comments and likes are always appreciated. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.